moment's pause before we begin. As the two sets of players and the officials gather to mark Holocaust Memorial Day. Crystal Palace against Aston Villa at under 18's level. And Aston Villa have the early possession. It will be Smith's ball in towards the far post. Out comes Isquierdo. It's dropping dangerously. And what a clearance that is. Mofi Jamaid somehow manages to keep it out. And a real wake up call. Inside three minutes for Rob Quinn's side. Here's Marjoram. He's done really well there. He's picked out a nice ball to Agbinone. As Cardin's ahead of him. Instead, Agbinone cuts inside. Let's fly! Leaves the crossbar rattling. Picks out Smith. Smith can step forwards and spray a nice ball out to the left hand side. But in step, Finley Marjoram, and he's set Palace away here. Sokolice has Marjoram on the outside. Here is the Palace right back across the face of goal, and there's the opener. Zach Marsh in the right place at the right time gives Palace the breakthrough. But how well did Finley Marjoram do here on his first start for the under 18s? Wins the ball back, finds Sokolice. Sokolice to Marjoram, and then such a dangerous ball. And those are the Predators' instincts shown by Zach Marsh. Murphy Jamide will pick up the pieces back to Isquierdo. Austin, that pass is loose, and now there's defending for Palace to do. And here comes the substitute, and Isquierdo gets out well. Charlie Lutz was through. Marsh tries to keep this in play. He's done well up against Smith. And Marsh is round Smith. And Marsh is ball in the middle, and there's the second for Palace. Sokolice finds the back of the net. He scored two last time out. He's got another today. And it is Crystal Palace 2, Aston Villa 0. Look at where he picks up the ball here. Manages to round Kerr Smith. And not only that, he looks up. He picks out the perfect ball. And then Sokolice is there to sweep home. It will be Cardine's ball in. Right. Under the goalkeeper who spilled it and then just about cleared off the line. But I don't believe it would have counted. Here's Alcock. On towards Kellyman. Kellyman against Cardines. Has Alcock on the overlap. Instead comes inside to Barber. Barber's ball in is a dangerous one. Is Criado can't get there. And it flashes just wide of the post. Looks as though Marsh has come across to this left-hand side for Palace as Aston Villa come forwards. That's a dangerous ball and it's found its way all the way through to Alcock. Somehow Isquierdo has kept it out. Can that be won back by Gibbard? It couldn't quite force its way through to Marsh. Still there for Palace. Here's Marsh. Austin can't get there. Cardines into Bell. Now, Sokolice, forced behind. Oh, it was almost perfect for Palace. It was brave goalkeeping from Wright. And now a chance at the other end here. It's Lutz. And Lutz has one back for Villa. And from one end to the other, Palace very nearly made it three. And now, Charlie Lutz has brought Aston Villa back into the game. Marjoram does well to emerge with possession there. And then flicked forward by Gibbard towards Dixon. Dixon turns away from two and Dixon is away here. Junior Dixon onto Freddie Bell. Freddie Bell can seal it. Still we play on. Up goes Mustafa. And there goes the final whistle. And the cheers from the Palace bench and the Palace players tell you all you need to know. They had to work hard for this one. 
deep into stoppage time. Nine minutes of stoppage time in the end. They were forced to hold on, but they have emerged with all three points. And it finishes Crystal Palace 2, Aston Villa 1.